So Rasheed Rice and Justin Ross is obviously a duo that must be talked about. And the reason why I say that is because we know how good Rasheed Rice and Justin Ross really is. And that preseason game, Rasheed Rice went absolutely crazy. Now, one thing I do wish is that we could see Justin Ross get way more snaps. Because I feel like if Justin Ross got the equal amount of snaps that Rasheed Rice does, then he would definitely be putting up the same amount of numbers. But Justin Ross almost had his second preseason TD when he killed this defender, this Cardinals defender, on a crazy route. He was wide open. But Blaine, or whatever his name is, Blake, I don't know. I think his name is Blake or Blaine, one of those. But Gabbert, he overthrew Justin Ross for the wide open touchdown, ended up throwing the ball out of bounds. It was really bad. It was bad. It was sad. A lot of people said Ross could have died for it, but that's honestly unnecessary in a preseason game, man. And Andy Reid is open to carrying seven wide receivers, so we may really see Justin Ross make the roster. He might actually have a chance to prove himself as a good wide receiver in this league. And I think him and Rasheed Rice could be a deadly duo. We're going to be going over their strengths and why they pair very well together and in this Chiefs offense. So stay tuned for this video. This is something you don't want to miss. Now, frame rise, we know that Justin Ross and Rasheed Rice, they all have some impressive frames. And the reason why I say that is because Rasheed, man, he's small. He's not really that small. He's like, what, 6'1", 6'2", very strong. Um, he looked like he could get through contact pretty, not even look like, we've seen him get through contact easily. He's like a break tackle kind of guy, and he does what is needed to be done on that football field, you know. He could get a lot of yard after catch, and Justin Ross is more the taller dude, big frame. He could catch the ball contested. He could be like a red zone threat, but he also could get yard after catch, and don't sleep on his route running because his route running is definitely there. Justin Ross' route running is very good. And for someone that's 6'4", 210 pounds, I definitely don't think he should be moving like that. And he's actually faster than what his 40 time listed. And that goes to show you that he was really injured when he ran that 40 time. And I feel like that mixture of Rasheed and Justin Ross, like their skill set, it's a very good combination. And we're not, we're going to be going over there with strengths like around the four minute mark. But yeah, it's a very good combination. And the reason why I say that is because when you have somebody like Rasheed Rice that you could get the ball to and he just start making plays, and then you have somebody like Justin Ross that you could rely on to catch the ball anywhere on the field, that's a lethal combination, especially for somebody like Patrick Mahomes on the center. And Rasheed Rice, obviously, he has a lot of potential, and I think that he's going to break the Andy Reid streak of rookies that popped off the first year. And I feel like Reid needs to put more confidence in Rasheed and Justin Ross, because I think that if you give these dudes a shot, they won't let you. They won't make you regret it. And something interesting that Justin Ross posted that everyone should listen to is when you get what you prayed to God for, don't forget about God. And that's an absolute fact. I'm pretty sure Justin Ross was praying to God that he could, you know, make a comeback from this, um, be able to come back and play football. That's his dream. So, of course, he had to pray to God for that. And he's saying he's not going to forget God now that he's on the Kansas City Chiefs and he's balling and doing what he has to do. He's not going to forget God. He's going to still go to God because that's what you're supposed to do. Like, I got monetized on YouTube. You think I'm going to forget about God because I prayed for it? I prayed to be in this position to make videos? No, I'm going to still go to God every single day, even when I'm doing good. But back to the video, man. Justin Ross and Rasheed Rice is obviously a lethal duo. And the fact that they're so young... It's what's making me surprised. Like, it's making me happy. Not surprised, but it's really making me happy because I'm not surprised that they're good because I've seen Rasheed in college. I've seen Justin Ross in college. So I'm not surprised that they're good. But I'm definitely happy that they're very young and we're going to have them for years to come. And Sky Moore even could be in there as a little slot receiver. I feel like Richie James and MVS and Justin Watson, obviously they're going to take the shine. But I do feel like there's going to be times and moments when we see Justin Ross and Rasheed Rice come in and make plays where we're like, oh, my God, they made the play. And I just can't wait to see it because at the end of the day, Kansas City is rooting for both of these dudes, man, both of these young stars. Kansas City is definitely rooting for them. Now, first, we're going to talk about Justin Ross trims, and then we're going to get into Rasheed Rice's. So let's go into his top traits first. We know Justin Ross, competitive toughness, ball skills, run after catch ability, right? Now... His ideal role is a wide slash big slot 
and movement Z receiver. But I really feel like he could do everything. He could play anywhere on the field. Um, scheme fit, spread offense, vertical, horizontal shot plays, off play action. We know the Chiefs do things like that. So they wouldn't have signed him if he wasn't a scheme fit. You know, they wouldn't have signed him if he wasn't a scheme fit. Now, his short area routes, they run with quickness and sharp cuts at the breaking point. On slants, comebacks, and outbreaking routes, Rosas uses sudden hard plants out of his breaks to win the rep. And that goes to show you that he's still in for, in college form because he is doing the same thing he's done in college. So that little break didn't really bother him because we see him making the plays that he's made in college. The route running, it still looks the same. He still looks sharp, right? He understands leverage and how to manipulate DB's hips and off coverage. He uses a false step or a dead leg to move defenders away from his target area. And he rolls well at the top of his routes. And he rarely loses speed or momentum. So I feel like his best routes come into short to intermediate areas of the defense. And his hands is very good. He has very good hands. He has the ability to just snatch the ball from the air. You know, he's made some incredible receptions. Um, his separation is there. He, he could separate very well. He has a good amount of packages. I said, well, he has a good package of releases, run after catch, ball skills. He has football IQ. He's very versatile. He's tough. He can make big plays. So I think Justin Ross is a very good player, you know. He's a very, very good player. And now let's touch on Rasheed Rice. When it comes to Rasheed Rice, he's a speedy outside receiver with a great change of direction skills. Um, he has a big play ability. He could take the top off the defense as well. He could run short routes. He could pick up chunks of yards with his ability to run after the catch. And that's a perfect fit for the Chiefs. His change of direction is crazy. Mixed with his speed. He's a very good player. You got to love Rasheed Rice. You got to love what he could do. Um, yeah, you definitely have to love what Rasheed could do. 6'1", 204 pounds, a dense compact frame with excellent length. Excellent length, man. He's very explosive. His acceleration is there. Um, he's very quick in open space. His Yeah, his acceleration is crazy. He has the long track explosiveness to overtake and stack DBs in off-man coverage. I mean, you got to love him, man. He's a long strider with dangerous vertical speed. And that's why the Chiefs draft him. Short area athlete quickly could chop his feet. That's why the Chiefs draft him. Like He really fits their system very well with his crazy body control, his flexibility as a contested catch artist. A lot of people compare him to DeAndre Hopkins, man, because he's a true acrobat catcher, man. He really is. Very clutch. He makes a lot of crucial chain moving receptions. I think he could take that Juju role pretty well, and Justin Ross could take that Justin Ross role. You know what I'm trying to say? He's going to have his own role because nobody, we never had a Justin Ross. But Juju Swift Schuster could definitely be replaced by Rasheed, and Rasheed's probably going to be even better. And I just can't wait to see what the Chiefs do. September 7th is right around the corner. I'm going to be hopping on prize picks for y'all. Going to give y'all a nice play while we make these videos. Keep up the bingers, man. And let's just keep going on with life and keep making these bingers. Cheese priority, and I'm out. Peace.